What's going on guys? Sean Weber and you know the power washing company obviously. So I wanted to hop on here quick and talk to you guys about uh, sales. I just made a good sale and I wanted to share it with you. Um, the discussion here is going to be about minimum, minimum charging. So woman called me about a gutter cleaning off of Google. Very excited about that. I love I love people calling me off of Google. Um, and I'm like, at first, you know, just gutter cleaning this time of the year, I'm like, all right, um, yeah, I, can, I do it, ma'am. She's like, okay, you were the first person I, I, I saw and you look, you look reputable. So, great. She sent me her address. It's a one-story ranch. And I'm like, all right, that's doable. We, we can do that. So I'm like, let me, let me give you a call back, ma'am. I'm gonna um, I'll price this out. So anyway, long story long is I looked at the house and to be completely honest with you, I'm not the best at uh, quoting gutters. I mean, cause they're, it's a crapshoot. You never know. It could be extremely dirty gutters. They could just want to get them blown out. You don't know. So I'm thinking like a hundred bucks, 125 bucks if I'm there. But if I'm gonna come out there, it's a whole different story. So here's where the minimum charge or minimum payment comes in. I, and I called her back and I also saw that her driveway, her driveway ne seriously needed a cleaning. And another part to the story, her house is about like 25 minutes away. So it's a little bit out of my range of what, I, I'm not gonna just go there for, hence where minimum payment comes in. So I call her back and I say, I'm like, Miss Loretta, how are you doing today? She's like, hey, Sean, good to hear from you again. I'm like, listen, I understand you wanted your gutters done, and that's gonna fall under my minimum payment, which is 225. I'm like, you have to understand, you know, I can't pull my whole rig out and come all the way to you with fuel and everything like that just to do the gutters. So if you'd like your gutters done, it would be 225. So that was the first thing I said, which I liked, and I haven't really used that before, but I like having a minimum because it sets it sets a precedence for them. I mean, as we, as we spoke about last week, with favors and free work and stuff and driving all over the place, so that was good. I said, I said, so it'd be 225, Mr. Loretta, but I'm like, but I gotta be honest with you, I saw your driveway, your driveway looks like it, it could definitely, it could definitely use a cleaning. I'm like, and let me tell you what, I can do your driveway while I'm there for 175. Side note, her driveway, if I were to go just do it, I would charge around 280. But um, I said, and then, so I said, for the gutter cleaning and for your driveway, I uh, uh, I could do it for 400. And she's like, oh, I don't know. The, my budget's been really tight lately. I'm paying for this, that, and the third. And, and you know how they say it. I'm like, I understand. But she's like, but I guess if you were to come back out, would it still be 225 for the um, gutters? I'm like, yes, ma'am. It would still be 225 for the gutters. But the driveway price would change. And she was like, oh, okay. And I'm like, I'm like, to be completely honest with you, ma'am, you're getting about $100 off on this driveway while I'm coming there. And she's like, oh, well, well, okay, well, let's, let's move forward with it. So anyway, long story long, I'm proud of myself because that ticket just completely changed for me. I probably wouldn't have went out there today. And also I'm going out there day of. So I just introduced the minimum payment, which is 225. And then I threw in a, a driveway cleaning, which with the machine I have now, guys, and this 24-inch deck, I mean, these driveway cleanings are a joke, guys. I almost feel bad charging when I'm charging, but that's what happens when you upgrade your equipment. So, yes, we're doing a $400 driveway and gutter cleaning. I'm more so thinking it's going to be a gutter blowout, but I'm going to bring you guys along, and uh, that was my tip of the day. Thanks, guys. All right, guys. There's the house, it's a beautiful location. The road stops at the river, so it's really nice. Um, yeah, we're gonna get started, we're gonna start filling up some water. And there she blows, a little 16 foot ladder. Um, I don't see this often guys, but you should be tying off your ladders. I got a little, uh, clove hitch there I could do a, a video later on on knots but if you're working alone it's good to tie off your ladders um, just to be safe so 
These have gutter guards. We're gonna blow those off. And this woman was an absolute headache, man. It's unbelievable. I'll tell you guys the story later. Where we're gonna pre-treat all of this and we're gonna hit that floor for free. And we're gonna bang out this and it'll be perfect. Right. It's all wet down. You can see it's pretty dirty. There's some drainage issues. See how it's all dirty? Some drainage issues to there. I got the eight gallon a minute machine going. Um, I got the ladder set up. I'm gonna I'm gonna pre-treat all this with just a house wash mix, 2.3 injector, and I'm just gonna let it sit. I'm gonna let it sit while I do these gutters. And then by the time I'm done with these gutters, I'll take out the 24 inch whisper floss and we'll bang out the driveway. And then I have a story to share with you guys. You guys gotta stay tuned for this, I'm telling you. I forgot I don't have surfactant in this, so I can't really tell if it's bleach or not, but I just felt it and there is bleach, so we're gonna bleach this down. Look how dirty this is. All right, everything is pre-treated, and now we're gonna go hit the gutters front and back, and then by the time we are done, this post-treat should, of uh, this pre-treat should be doing its job, and then we'll uh, bang out the driveway. Wow, talk about a good roof wash. I could, oh, uh, this would be a perfect roof wash. This is a walkable roof, but there is there ain't no way this lady's paying. I'm gonna hand pick these and then the gutter guards are screwed in. So I'm gonna bring up my eight gallon a minute with the ball valve and just at least rinse them out really good. Quick fireman tip for working on roofs for you guys, if you're gonna be doing gutters. you If you're on a roof, you wanna be stepping on the rafters, all right? You wanna be stepping on the structural support members, but how do you find where those are? Because they're gonna be on 16 on center most likely, if I could be wrong, but I know where they're at. So, see how it's dark, light, dark, light? That's because there's a slight dip in the dark, meaning that that dark spot is between two structural members. So does that make sense? Because when it rains, the water will rush down and all the particulates will rush down and it'll, it'll, it'll go up in the valley. You wanna be on the ridges. On the ridges is where you're gonna have the most support because that's where the rafters are. That's your quick tip of the day.
cleaning up everything came out great um, the gutter guards are a shit show and I'm trying not to walk on that yeah, everything looks good kind of close those gates everything looks good I post treated so those lines will disappear do not worry and that's all she wrote really um yeah we'll talk in the car all right tell me i'm giving you guys the whole story of this job okay and i i swear i feel like i'm i am i the crazy one because if i am please guys say you're crazy Drop a comment, you're crazy, if I'm the crazy one. So, all right, I get a call this morning at 10 a.m. for a gutter cleaning, and I immediately think, like, ah, gutters, like, just a gutter job. Like, I don't want to take out all the stuff to go do a gutter job. But I'm like, you know what, ma'am? Send me your address, and um, because I wanted to look at it. So she sends me the address. It's half hour away, but it's easy money. It's like a ran it's a one story ranch. It's like a walkable roof, like the most. And she's like, I have gutter guards, and I'm like, all right, I'll just blow off the top of the gutter guards and you know call it a day. And then I also see on Google Maps that her driveway was really dirty. So I thought to myself, okay, well I'm, I'm, I'm like I'm not gonna go. I this was gonna constitute as my minimum payment. So I was like, this is gonna be 225 bucks regardless, and she's gonna say no to that because I just could tell. You just tell when you talk to people. So anyway, long story long, I call her and I'm like, I'm like, Miss Loretta, how are you? She's like, good. I'm like, listen, I'm like, I can come do your gutters, but this constitutes my minimum payment, which is $225. I'm like, you have to understand. I have to drive out there. It's a half hour away, this, then the third. And she's like, oh, oh, okay. And I'm like, but listen, I see that you need your driveway done. I'm like, I would normally charge $285 to do your driveway, but if you have me come out today, I'll do it for 185 or I'll do it for 175. We'll call it 225 plus 175. Call it 400 bucks. I'll do your driveway and your gutters. And she she thinks about it for a second and she's like, "Oh. Yeah, um, I don't know. It's, you know, I just money's tight right now and this that, and the third and I'm like, "All right. Well, it's no problem." I'm like, "But I'm just telling you like she's like, "If I were to call you later, would it still be 225?" And I'm like, yes, it would be a 225, always my minimum payment. But if I were to come do the driveway later, I might not have that same offer. And she's like, okay, well, let's do the driveway. And when can you be here? I'm like, I can be there in a freaking hour. And she's like, okay, well, I have to be somewhere. Uh, I don't know, uh, blah, blah, blah. So I drive, I get the rig together. I put the ladder on the rig, all this stuff. I, I drive out there, right? I, I knock on this, I go knock, knock, knock on this woman's nice door, 30 minutes away from me. She goes, on the phone she's on the phone she comes out 25 seconds later and she's like hi um so do you use your own water and you already know what's coming and i'm like ma'am no i don't I, I use your water and she goes oh well that's gonna be expensive I, so i was she was like i was literally just gonna text you but I, I don't i don't think we'll do the driveway today we'll just do the gutters how much would that be and guys i I, I, man, I got, I had like one thread left. I, I just drove there 30 minutes. I cleared my day out to go do this job that we had agreed on. This, this keeps happening to me, man. I, am I the crazy? If I'm the crazy one, comment, comment, you're crazy. Comment, you're crazy. If I'm the crazy one. So I, I sit there and I look at her and I swear I'm, I'm literally praying to myself. I'm like, do not, do not do something stupid. Do not like, don't snap on this woman, please. And she's just staring at me, and I just and I'm and she's like, "Yeah, we'll just do the gutters." And I and I just looked at her. I'm just like, and she's like, "Well, what about?" And I'm like, "Ma'am, I could assure you, every thousand gallons is an extra eight dollars." And I'm like, "I won't even use a thousand gallons." I'm like, "How about?" She's like, "I don't know." And I'm like, "And we already agreed on this. 
I'm like, what do you mean? What do you mean? I, it's like, I, bro, they're trying to screw me. It's like, I'm not, am I the crazy one? I just feel like you get walked all over by some of these people. They call you to come do a service. You agree on said service. You have $15,000 worth of fucking gear you're bringing to their house. And then they want to like, they want to mess with you. I feel like they're, they're messing with you. I feel like they, I, I don't know. I just don't, I, so anyway, long story long, I just say, man, I'll give you $10 off. How, I'm like, it'll be $8, but I'll give you 10. I'll give you an extra $2. And she's like, yeah. I, honestly, I don't even know. I feel like she might not even pay me because she's like, okay. And then she's like, well, I have to go. And I, I'm, I'm, and also, this is another kicker. I, I'm thinking that she's going to she write me a check. She's like, well, I'm going to write you a check. I'm like, okay. And she's like, but um, I won't be back in time. And I, and I don't like to pay until you're done with the work. And I was like, I'm just like, Are you, okay. And I, that's understandable. And I'm like, ma'am, you know what? She's like, I can mail it to you. And I'm like, all right. So this woman allegedly will mail me a check, but so we, we got it done. We got the driveway done. We got the gutters done. First of all, the gutters, were, the gutters were a nightmare because the gutter guards, I mean, Mike V, Mike V, you know. Yeah, I mean, again, comment you're crazy or I'm crazy. Just just say something. Because if I'm crazy, tell me. But I, I, I guys, I'm telling you, Last week, it was, the, it was the same thing. People calling me to come out and do a driveway, a small little driveway, and I'd drive there in Memorial Day traffic to get it done for them before Memorial Day with a, with a great price. And then they'd be like, oh, come do this stain. I'm like, I'm not, I'm like, ma'am, I had to tell people, I'm like, ma'am, I'm not doing this stain. I'm out here for $185. I'm not doing a stain for you. It, it, I don't know what people, it's 2024. People know how much, you go get milk. Milk's like $5, an egg. Where do you, people are trying to make a living. I, am I the crazy one? I'm sorry for this rant, I, I'm done.